Woo. Happy Friday, y'all. Let me talk to y'all for a minute. Prince Sports, let me talk to y'all, man. Now, check this out. Some people get triggered by the term calling the NBA team world champions. Because they say, well, that team that won the championship, they haven't played against the whole world. They haven't beaten the best team in the whole world to win an NBA championship. So why can they, why are they calling themselves world champs? They should call themselves NBA champs. Let me tell you guys how you're wrong, all right? The NBA has every right to call themselves world champions because we have valid proof to prove that they are the best players in the world. So therefore, if they're the best players in the world, by default, they're world champs, regardless of what team wins. And we got this thing called FIBA, and we got the Olympics. If the United States wins most of the time and comes out with the gold medal most of the time, by default, they are world champs and they're the best league in the world. Not only is the NBA the best league in the world, but they take the best players from each country and put them on an the NBA team. All right. Even proven even more that the best players in the world play in the NBA. So to be nice about it, though, we give you your best player back from your respective country and you still end up losing. So therefore, you just lost to a bunch of Americans in a sport that's called basketball. Therefore, making us the best players in the world. Now, if we depleted your whole team from your country, why do they need to turn around and say, that team that's full of players that got waxed by Americans already in Olympics needs to play up against the team that won the NBA championship with the best Euro players on it, combined with the best NBA players that's American on it. Why would they need to go and beat up on a bunch of nine to five? basketball players from the Euro League or any other country for that example. All right? It'd be a complete waste of time. All right? Now, there's an old saying, if you play the game, you have a chance. But hey, there, the chances of a bunch of nobodies, a bunch of, uh, you know, basketball rejects, so to speak, that couldn't make it to the NBA, no, no disrespect, I say that respectively. <laughs> Their chances of beating a, a pro, a real pro NBA team is very slim because not only did they tuck from your own country, the best resources that your country have when it comes to talent basketball players, they also got the best American players all mixed on one team. So your chances of winning is very low. So we have the right to call ourselves the best players in the world because we prove it every damn four years for the most part. Okay, it doesn't matter if this country is catching up, that country is catching up. They haven't caught up enough to be called the best because they only got one or two players that's really great. Even if those one or two players are top five players in the NBA, top five players in the world. See, when we say Giannis is the best basketball player in the world, regardless if he's from Greece or not, he's the best player in the world playing in where? The NBA. So the NBA houses the best basketball players, period. So therefore, my friend, the best players come from the NBA. Maybe not originally, but they still come and play in the NBA. So we are world champs. Perfectly explained. Sports out. Peace.